Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. It's Meatless Monday and today I'm going to be bringing to you my meatless meat sauce, also known as a vegetarian bolognese sauce. It's delicious because it's rich, it's meaty without the meat. It's perfect for putting on top of zoodles, which are zucchini noodles, or some pasta. You can actually eat it with almost anything. It's delicious. Let's go over the ingredients so we can start making it. We're going to need some olive oil, porcini mushrooms, a little bit go a long way, some portobello baby mushrooms or whatever mushrooms are easy to find in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood supermarket, some dried oregano, a little bit of cinnamon, some tomato paste, salt, pepper, fresh garlic, some red baby bell peppers, or you can use a big bell pepper too, some canned tomatoes, red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat, a can of chickpeas, you could use lentils instead, and an onion. So we're gonna begin by reconstituting these mushrooms by pouring some hot water over them. Now I'm gonna set them aside so that way they can soften because these are dried and they're gonna sit in the water for about 20 minutes. That's all it really needs. Now, porcini mushrooms are great because they're loaded with intense, rich mushroom flavor. They're more nutty and just very delicious. But if you cannot find them in your supermarket, just go ahead and use regular mushrooms, whatever you can find. If you can find them, however, make sure you use them. Next, we're gonna chop up this onion. I'm just gonna finely chop it. Go ahead and add your chopped up onion to a pot. Now I like to go with a deeper pot because once the sauce starts cooking, it's gonna start splattering. So you do need some room so that way it's not it's splattering inside the pot and not outside, if that makes sense. Go ahead and add about a quarter cup of olive oil to the pot. I'm gonna season the onions with a little bit of salt and I'm gonna let them cook over medium heat for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and soft. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up this these little bell peppers. You can use a large bell pepper if you want to instead. Next, just go ahead and grate your garlic cloves. Garlic cloves add great flavor, especially to pasta sauces. And they just go so great together with the bell pepper and onion and all the other ingredients. I have three garlic cloves here. I'm just gonna grate them. So now whenever you get mushrooms, the best way to clean them is with a, with a damp kitchen towel. Just go ahead and rub them all around to get any dirt that may be on there off. And then I'm gonna pop out the stems. You could save the stems for another time. Go ahead and pop them in a freezer safe bag and put them in a vegetable stock or a, a stew, wherever you wanna use it next time. So I'm gonna put the mushrooms in a food processor and I'm gonna pulse them a few times until they're finely chopped. You could also do this by hand. This is the consistency you're looking for. I'm also gonna take out the porcini mushrooms because they have softened. Now make sure to save that beautiful stock that has rendered from the mushrooms. You can just use it in the sauce. It's gonna add loads and loads of great flavor. I'm gonna set that aside. Now, I could have also put them with the other mushrooms, but I'm just gonna roughly chop these. The onions are nice and soft and golden. I'm gonna go ahead and stir in the mince the grated garlic just for a few seconds until it's nice and warm through. You don't want to overcook this because burnt garlic is not a flavor that you're going for in any meal. It smells wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and add the porcini mushrooms, the sliced bell pepper, and the chopped up portobello mushrooms. And I'm going to season them with just a little bit of salt. And I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes just until they're nice and soft and everything is caramelized. So while the uh, mushrooms and everything is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and pulse the chickpeas. These are canned, already cooked chickpeas. And I'm gonna pulse them just a few times until they're chopped. We're not making hummus, you guys, so we just want them to be chopped like this, just coarsely chopped. We're not looking for them to turn into a paste. And I'm just gonna transfer them into a bowl until I'm ready to add them in. Since everyone in my house likes their tomato sauce to be silky smooth, in my house the kids don't like chunky tomato sauce, so I like to puree it. So I'm gonna place my canned tomatoes, these are chopped tomatoes with the tomato paste in the food processor. This is why I took it out in the first place instead of chopping my mushrooms, because since I'm gonna go ahead and do all this, I might as well use one piece of equipment for everything. And I'm just gonna pulse it until it's nice and smooth. So they've gotten really beautifully caramelized and all the liquid has cooked out. At this point, I'm just gonna go in and add this pureed tomato sauce, the chickpeas. Now cinnamon really goes nice and it accents 
warms up the tomato sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to it, some dried oregano. You can use thyme in here as well. A little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes because I do like that heat. Some salt, freshly ground black pepper, and this broth from the porcini mushrooms. Give it a mix. And now we're gonna let this come to a boil. After that, I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer and I'm gonna cover it and let it cook until it's beautifully thickened. It's gonna take about 30, 35 minutes, but I will show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. It's already smelling so wonderful in here. After about 30 to 35 minutes, your sauce will have reduced and it'll be nice and thick and gorgeous. Make sure you go in and taste it and adjust the seasoning if it needs a little bit more salt or pepper. It's time to serve this, and I like to serve this. You could serve this two ways. You could serve this with pasta, over pasta, or over these zoodles. All I did was I spiralized them using a spiralizer, and then I just sauteed them in a little bit of olive oil, just a few minutes until they slightly softened, and seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, and just like that, they are ready. Just top it with lots and lots of that hearty vegetarian sauce. I like to put a little sprig of basil. You can finely chop some basil too. And then I have some shredded kefalotiri. You can do Parmesan. And dinner is served. So in under an hour, you have a meal ready that's hearty, that's flavorful, that's delicious, and super healthy. Now you can make a double batch of this and store some in your freezer. As a matter of fact, if you make a bigger batch like for the week, even if you don't make a double batch, but if you make a bigger batch of this, this sauce tastes better each day as it sits in the fridge. It could stay fresh for about four to five days, maybe more, I don't know. It never lasted that long in my house anyway. It's wonderful for those busy weeknights and also for sneaking in some veggies in your kids meals. I think you're going to love this. I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. Now again, you can also serve this on top of pasta, but zoodles are my thing these days. I love the combination. You can really taste the meatiness of the mushrooms in the sauce. Of course, you can add more vegetables to this. You can chop up some zucchini. Eggplant would melt into this and make it even heartier. But as is, it is absolutely divine. You can go on over to the website, www.demetrosdishes.com to print this recipe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Thumbs up if you want more vegetarian recipes. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.